Hey, this is Supreet and welcome back. So today we're going to see how to automate uh, Excel related stuff using UI path. So now what I'm going to do is I have a, uh, an Excel and what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just read those Excel and whatever is there in that Excel, I'll try to print that uh, in, in the message box. So for this is a basic or a simple automation that uh, I'm going to try it. So for that, I'm going to add a sequence. So now what I'm going to show you is how this works. So first and foremost thing is uh, you're going to add the sequence. And when you add the sequence, you will also have to add an Excel. I'm going to just type Excel over here. You see this option there's an option called excel application scope just drag and drop it over here and this would be pretty handy uh, activity which helps you to perform excel related operations now once you add these things you would have an option to choose the excel file so now i've chosen the excel file uh, let me show you what is the content of that excel file This is the content of that Excel file. So you have two columns and multiple rows, approximately 10 rows. So, uh, I mean, uh, the content of this would be displayed in, in a message box. So that is the intent. Going back to the UI path. So now uh, after choosing this Excel, what you're gonna do is You're gonna say read Excel because we're gonna read this Excel. Read Excel. If you don't get that, just say read. And you have read reach. So once you add this, you will have to mention which sheet it is. If you go to the Excel, you have a sheet called effort estimation and the same sheet would be mentioned over here what other parameters has to be passed in now i'm going to create a variable so that that variable holds the content of the file just click on variable and you have to create a variable i'm creating a variable and that would be of type data table just because uh, data table is a structure which would be available to you in the form of rows and columns and excel content would also be in, in terms of rows and columns and to compensate that uh, the data table would be most suitable form of variable so once i declare this variable <clears throat> i'm gonna assign that a variable to the output of this read range now after reading that excel i have to render the content of that out i mean the content of that file in the message box so i'm gonna add that message box over here and assign a variable now you might have uh, been wondering what this output table is so now uh, this output table would be uh, intermediate uh, output data table because as it is this cannot be converted to string so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna, I'm gonna drag and drop this output data table and data from this is taken as an input over here and output for the output i would be creating one more data uh, i mean one more variable of type string data one so i'm gonna take that as an output of this data table output data table and this output would be passed over here in the message box now if i say run if you observe 
task CR effort content of this is being displayed exactly as it is may not be in the same tabular format but the content would be displayed if you want to display it in the exact tabular format probably you can display it in the data table so thanks guys this is just a small demo to represent an excel automation